Hey, what's up guys? Valley Fine here. I am back. Welcome to the channel. And in this video, talking about maxing out your graphics on Bluestack. So when you play Marvel Strike Force on your computer, you will have graphics. Instead of looking like this, you make them look a lot better, something like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. I do want to thank Casino for making the original tutorial on how to do this. He has a text link that he put on the bottom of his Bluestacks video. And if you want to see the text version, check out his video. I'm putting a link down in the description down below. He also does Twitch every day, so check out his channel. But uh, we're going to do the video version on this. So if you like the video version, check this out. Uh, whatever's easier for you i do want to give a shout out to one of the viewers michaela her brother gage came on yesterday said she was diagnosed with cancer and wanted me to give a shout out to her so what's up michaela keep fighting girl stay strong and uh my prayers are with you hopefully you uh kick some butt there all right so let's get into this video on how to do this once you click on the link in the description to download bluestacks it's an affiliate link so the channel does get credit uh, you're going to run into a screen like this. All you will do is click on this download Marvel Strike Force video and, or button and you'll get a install um, application that looks like this. All you do is double click on it to start it and click on the install now and it'll start installing. It takes a few minutes but uh, through the magic of editing it is very fast. So uh, when you're done with that you just click complete and it should open blue stacks now what you're gonna need to open blue stacks is a gmail account now you can you can either use yours or you could create a new one just for this now i just use mine just for simplicity's sake and uh you're just gonna need to enter it there and then once you do that it's gonna take you to this marvel strike force page just click install it'll install marvel strike force for you it takes a little while but again through the magic of editing we made this a lot quicker goes from zero just all the way done just click on open and it will open marvel strike force and you are almost done at that point now this is an account that i created you're gonna have to go through the tutorial at first you're gonna click on this gear button right here as soon as you're able to you're gonna have to click through that tutorial and it'll take you to this facebook connect now you're gonna have to do this on your device previously you're just gonna have to connect this sign in with a facebook account either your main one or one you've created for this game and once you get to this screen on your blue stack you're just gonna have to link it there just type in your uh, facebook account and then your password once you've done with that click log and obviously i'm hiding mines right here um yeah but once you're done with that click login and it's gonna link the account the account from your phone that you've done previous to this and the one that you've done now just click connect and then you're gonna have to confirm and it's gonna switch from that random account that you've created on that back to your main account and here's my main account right here and you're all set to play but if you want max graphics that's where this video comes in so first thing you're going to have to do uh well actually not the first thing but the program you're going to use for this is called gl tools now this is a paid program it costs 3.99 it's a one-time fee it's not an affiliate link i don't know these guys i have no affiliation with them whatsoever so you could either use this method or a free method uh, just with a quick Google search. I'm not going to talk that, about that in here. Uh, it is much easier just to pay these guys that developed it. But if you want to use a free version, uh, like I said, a quick Google search will get uh, you that. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to do a root check. So I use this program right here just because the tutorial that I used uh, rec use this one but any of these would work they probably all are very good uh all you do is click on one of them install that and what this is going to do is tell you if your blue stacks is rooted or not now you need to root your blue stacks in order to use that gl tools that we talked about earlier and when you open the program it just says if it's rooted or not right now it's not rooted so what we got to do before we use gl tools is to make sure that our blue stacks is rooted so for that, we're going to need another program. We could actually exit out of BlueStacks. Uh, we don't need it right now, but we're going to need to download this program called BS Tweaker. And I'm going to put a link for that down below. Um, if there And it's current as of me making this video. If there's another one that comes out, I will try to edit that comment section. But if it doesn't, um, and this is way in the future, just search for BlueStacks Tweaker and hopefully it should get you the latest version 
once you've done that it gets a zip folder and open up the you're gonna extract it and then you're gonna open up blue stacks tweaker and it's gonna take you into a place like this uh you need to force kill blue stacks even though we closed it you still should force kill blue stacks and then you're gonna go into this helpers tab right here and you're gonna unlock everything so once you click unlock it takes a little while but then you'll have a, a bunch of buttons right here that means it's unlocked then you're gonna go back to this main tab right here and you're gonna start up blue stacks now you're gonna wait for it to load you're gonna run through some ads here's a few ads that you go through but again through the magic of editing it will be loaded really quick and once it's loaded you could just minimize that we're gonna go back into the blue stacks tweaker go back into the helpers tab and we're gonna just hit this patch button and it takes a little while once it's done uh you don't need blue stack speaker anymore so you could close out of this program and you don't have to worry about it anymore uh but we're gonna go back into blue stacks and make sure that it is rooted big we're gonna need to do one more program and that is super su so you're gonna type super s-u-p-e-r i typed a space but it actually is without a space but it'll still show up you're gonna install this program too and this is the last thing you're going to need before you do that gl tool so uh you're just going to open this and i think all you need to do is open it but i clicked on and it's going to change the aspect ratio of this as well i clicked on start i'm not sure if the start actually does anything but uh it says occupied i just closed out of that program and then what i did was open the root check up again and we have confirmation that the rooting was successful so now we're ready to run gl tools so uh you're just going to go in and get your gl tools again two options one through the play store 399 and then you have a free version um and like i said before just a quick google search will uh if you want to do the free version or you could support the people that developed it it is up to you um, but i'm not going to talk about the free version other than what i just did all right, so once you have GL tools on your, um, I guess it's called the desktop or whatever it's called, your loading screen for BlueStacks, you're just gonna open it and you're gonna install it. Check all these boxes, or at least I did. I'm not, I didn't, uh, I'm not sure if there's anything, but any, anyway, check all them and install, and that will open up GL. I mean, that'll install it. Now you're just gonna open it back up, and we're gonna go down and look for Strike Force right there. So click on Strike Force. And we're going to enable the custom settings for this app. That is the first box you're going to check right over there. And now we're going to scroll down a little. And we need to find the fake GPU. So use fake GPU info is something you need to check. And then we're going to find the template. And the template that we're going to end up using is this one. GPU slash CPU Tegra 4 and in parentheses shield. So you're just going to check that. And then this next step is very important because your game won't open without doing this. You're going to click on fake GL extensions and you're going to delete all of this. And the simple version is just to select all of it and click delete. Or you could do this inefficient old school method that I'm doing in this video right now and just backspacing everything. But either way, just make sure everything is gone and click OK. And that should be all good. Now you're going to go and make the graphics a little better. So you're going to click on this anti-aliasing button. And you're going to go down to MSAA 16X Non-Tegra. And now you're all good. When you open up Marvel Strike Force, it should have much better graphics. So instead of looking like this, it is looking like this. A lot better. Uh, it just makes the game more enjoyable, I think. At least in my opinion, it does. And that is pretty much it i want to thank you guys for watching this video uh if you like this i got a lot more videos coming usually i do them on the weekdays but because this iron man event is starting on sunday i'm most likely making another video then so i will see you guys then uh check me out on social media and obviously if you want to use this program the blue stacks doesn't cost you anything but there is an affiliate link down below and the channel does get some credit for that uh it just helps me to continue to make these videos so again Thank you to Casino. Shout out again to Michaela. Thanks for watching these videos. I will see you guys next time. Valley Flying out.